What season are you talking about? Um, CrossFit season. Okay, tell me. I didn't know CrossFit had a season. <laughs> well, you try to have a season here. You uh, you have the CrossFit Games, and you pretty much go from there, right? So the open, the quarters, and everything. But um, well, you can pretty much choose your season now compared to all the good competitions that are on the way, also. So for you, the season starts in ten days. Uh, no, my season. Yeah, I would say my season would start around August and that's, or it's off season starts now. Like I've been taking time off since semis. So before the on season starts or like the, the first week of real training, um, I would say like, it's probably going to be around mid, like beginning of August, mid July. And, and then, and then what are you training for? That is the big question. I have so many, many or like many competitions in mind. So I'm trying to choose, pick and choose here. I'm waiting for uh, dates for uh, the qualify for Rogue Invitationals. I really want to compete there, but uh, I think they're in mid August. So if I just started training again in August, then there are only five that come through. I'm I'm not that optimistic about it. The shape I'm in now is uh, not. Uh, not that great i'll tell you that um and if not like there are some other competitions on the way like some in europe and and i might actually go to australia this year and train with caitlin in off season so go there in october so i might do down under but probably as a team not individual so there's there's a lot a lot of options but i think it all like the what matters mostly for me now is just getting my body ready for some real training and not have any niggles or anything when I start training. So taking a good off season, uh, wrist ribs, knee. Uh, <laughs> well now it's, uh, after semis it's elbow. I tore, uh, a tendon in my elbow in event six. So I'm on week five now, uh, in recovery. So it, it was a great two tear, so I didn't have to have surgery. Very happy with that. Uh, Can you show me where it's at, Sarah? My elbow. Yeah, your elbow. Sure. I don't know if you can see it on here, but there's a gap here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally see that. I yeah, totally so see that. That's where it tore. But we're getting there. So I'm going to be smart with this and let that heal completely before I can decide what I'm going to or where I'm going to compete at. But I definitely want to do one team and one individual competition. Um, there is a, um, a video of you. It's a pretty uh, poignant video. You posted it on your Instagram account right here. Yeah. Uh, it says, I have no words. Some things don't have an explanation. Yeah. And that was workout six. But uh, in training, you finished it in sub 12 minutes, which would have put you in fourth place. Yeah. Instead, you, you got uh, capped and you finished in 56th place. Yeah. It was very interesting because you did not seem to have any trouble climbing up the rope, but no, coming so down no. the rope. I didn't have any strength on my left coming down. Uh, so I just slipped always when I had to grab with my right on the way down. And, and there's footage of you putting your knee on your arm, like trying to rub your arm out. Yeah, I was just trying to do something to <laughs> to, to try to get this rope like – I didn't know what I could do on that floor. I was hoping that adrenaline would take me through it or it was just a very, very heartbreaking experience, to be honest. And it's probably every athlete's fear that this can happen and, and that happened and I'm still alive. So I'm happy with that. But it was like, I felt something pop on the way down in the second attempt. Uh, so I wasn't sure what happened completely. Like it wasn't that painful, <laughs> but there's also so much adrenaline going on. So yeah, I didn't have an explanation of what happened. And I was before going into that event, these were my two events. I, I even said to, to Snorri and my friends, so just like Sundays are always my days. And especially with these two workouts, I can't wait to do them. And I was in 12th place and I was like, 
I mean, a good because I was mostly the I I was stressed about the snatches because uh, impact into squatting has been one of the most challenging parts after ACL tear. So I was very nervous of like doing a one or max snatch after a run, which went very good. So happy with that. But I thought that would be or like I thought I already had the ticket almost there. And you can like that just taught me you can never be sure of what will happen ever. Um, this in the write up, you write, there's no explanation. Yeah. But there is an explanation. And now there's an explanation. I did an MRI when I came home just to get it cleared. Like it could have just been a small, like a minor, like a, a muscle tear or something like very minimal, but it's the, the muscle junction or whatever it's called is, is completely gone off the tendon. So that's why I didn't have any strength. Holy shit. Yeah. So, so it's, it's good to have an explanation now, but I also, I don't want to be the one that has excuses of why things go wrong. Like this just wasn't supposed to happen this year that I could make it to the games and my body made sure of that. So I need to make sure that my body's ready next year for something like that to never, ever happen again. Um, uh, Jeremy says, uh, so easy to cheer for this lady, all heart. Um, how, how did you break your ribs? Oof. The first rib I broke from overtraining. Uh, what year was that? 2017. Okay. I think I knew about that. Okay. Yeah. And the second rib I broke was because of a belt that I used at the games. Uh, so I broke my second rib in the warm up. Before the one RM uh, workup, cross your total. And what, what year was that? 2018. So I broke the rib in the warm up, uh, and I thought like, okay, I, I felt the crack, and I knew that it was broken. I was like, if I don't release the belt, I'll be able to finish this event. And then we had the marathon rowing in the evening, and then we had the day off on Thursday, and I just thought, okay, if I can push through this today. Then I can make a decision of what's about to happen. I can't make anything worse by having a broken rib. Like it's, it's not. It's just painful. And if you're a crossfitter, you can handle pain. So, uh, so I went, went through that. Um, and then I couldn't finish the competition on Saturday. I did everything until the last event. Then. So that was also that was the most heartbreaking moment before <laughs> event six on semifinals this year. Before before semifinals this year was what? That moment of just having to disqualify from the Crossy Games because oh, of oh be, yeah. okay yeah besides that right right yeah and then and then when you went into event seven did you know uh, this year at semifinals did you know something was wrong with your elbow or you still didn't know? No, I I knew, but I wanted you suspected. To okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I knew. I like that gap was right away, or like I saw that gap and the difference in in the forearms, but I. Like it's one more event and you have off season after that event, you might as well finish. Hey, does that thing attach to this bone here? Yeah. It attaches to the, it's that, here. It's, that little knob. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's actually like all the way in here. It's, oh. it's a muscle is called terrace something. Can't remember quite what it's called. <laughs> okay. I can feel that thing too. It's like a wire. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the muscle close to the wall. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. do you say your elbow? Why don't you say your bicep? Okay, it's a, it's more a lower here. Okay. Like what I feel is the forearm. Let's say that. Okay. So yeah. I asked because I hurt my bicep uh, lowering a dumbbell, a snatch. Yeah. yeah. And um. And everyone keeps saying it's your elbow. I'm like, no, it's my bicep. It's my bicep, yeah. but it's right here. But everyone keeps saying it's my elbow, and 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 I'm like, hmm, I wonder why she says it's her elbow. But is your was your pain here? Uh, so pronator terrace is what what I tore. God, it's you a can, fucking mess in there. Oh yeah, okay. So they all kind of attach there. Yeah. Hey, uh, Caleb, is that arrow pointing to the inside of the arm? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fuck, I know exactly where that is. All those suckers attached to that thing. Yep. Oh, so but this one, the one that you hurt comes over the top. Yeah. And you got three other ones underneath it. Yeah. 
I don't know why they didn't work with me in the rope climbs, you know? Yeah. It, 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 it makes sense. It makes sense that um, uh, it would happen on the way down, right? Because that's yeah. where the. That was, I just didn't, like, I just slipped down. And then I was trying to grab with my ride, but like nothing, nothing worked. 